Hi friends! Today I want to talk about a super fun way of drawing called continuous line drawing. Continuous means something doesn't stop, it continues. So continuous line drawing is when you draw without picking your pen up from the paper, or if you do pick your pen up, you go right back to where you left off, so that your drawing is one continuous line. Basically, you're drawing like your pen is stuck to the paper. This can be fun and silly and relaxing, or you can make it a challenge by seeing how many things you can draw with one line. An artist who was amazing at these was the Spanish artist Pablo Picasso. You might know him for his cubist paintings, but he also did beautiful, simple line drawings. Not all of them are continuous. You can see that in this drawing, he had to pick up his pen to make some of these details. But he did lots of continuous line drawings too, especially drawings of animals. My favorite is this circus scene. I tried to follow the lines with my fingers and I think he drew it in just two lines. I think that is amazing. Since Pablo Picasso was from Spain, I invited a special guest to share a cool fact about him. I wonder if you can guess who my special guest will be. Hey, hola! So a little birdie told me that you were studying about an artist named Pablo Picasso. Did you know that he spoke Spanish? Just like me! Did you also know that his name is 20 words long and has 103 letters in it? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. So I'm going to read it off to you. I don't have it memorized. You'd be crazy to memorize a name that long unless it was your own. So I'm going to read it off to you right now. You ready? Here we go. Pablo Diego Jose Francisco de Paula Juan Neomuceno Maria de los Romedios Cipriano de la Santísima Trinidad Ruiz y Picasso. Yeah, that was his name. Are you wondering why it's so long? Well, he was named after a whole bunch of people. So Pablo came from his uncle, Diego came from his grandfather on his dad's side, Jose was after his dad, uh, Juan Nicolás Moceno was the godfather's cousin, who was his godfather. Uh, um, there were two saints he was named after, uh, his godmother, um, and his mom, everybody. Can you imagine being in kindergarten and being told you have to learn how to write your name? And it's 23 words long? Wow. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm going to read that to you one more time because I practiced it. And I want to do it one more time. You ready? Okay, here I go. Pablo Diego Jose Francisco de Paula Juan Neomuceno Maria de los Remedios Cipriano de la Santísima Trinidad Ruiz y Picasso. Oh, I'm hearing applause in my head. Are you applauding for me? Because that was crazy. All right. Hey, have fun studying him. He's amazing. And I know you're going to have a great lesson. Adios. Thank you for sharing that amazing fact with us, Senora Gallagher. I'm going to share a couple of great continuous drawing videos for you guys to try that you can draw along with. I'm also going to show a couple ideas right now. I love drawing people with continuous lines, so I drew a little continuous line self-portrait. And another fun thing you can do is try a continuous line portrait, but don't look at the paper while you draw. These are always super fun and silly. You can also make a continuous line drawing with a piece of string or yarn. This can be temporary or you can glue it if you want to keep it forever. I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see what you'll create.